Kirk, welcome back to Good Living. How are you? Good morning, Megan. Great, thanks. You look like you saw some of this beautiful weather that we had on the weekend have. here. I made it to band together on Saturday and what a great day. And yeah, was it really good? It was fantastic. Mm. Really good to see a lot of those bands and yeah, it was obviously a great event and really well put together by Jason and the, and the local council. Yeah, didn't they do well? Who was yeah. your favourite on the day? Probably Evermore. I haven't seen them before. Uh, mm. Great band. Um, there was the usual op shop and feelers, two of my favourites. Julia Dean's fantastic voice, but Evermore probably my pick of the day. Oh, good to see. And good to see so many people out there as well. Like, it sounds like you know, over a, a lot hundred of thousand, which is brilliant. Yes, that was fantastic. Now, you are making something that's currently on the kind of spring summer menu at Wagamama too, which is really exciting. And it, I'm saying this right, Choo Chi Chicken Curry. Choo Chi Curry. It is one of our specials, spring specials. Um, one of my favourites and, and really popular down at the restaurant. Um, Thai inspired mm -hmm. with a Penang uh, curry paste. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, well, let's okay, get started. I'll get things started. Uh, I'm going to roast some pumpkin first. So I've got an oven on just behind me, um, quite hot, 200 degrees, just so we can get the pumpkin uh, cooked ready ahead. This could even sort of be done ahead of schedule as well, but soon I'm going to roast this. I'm going to get this cracking. So just roasting it, I guess, beforehand gives it a bit of added depth of flavour, does it? Yeah, it does, and just with pumpkin being quite a dense vegetable, um, compared to some of the other veggies we're using today, um, we just want to get that ahead yeah. of the rest. Just going to drizzle that with a little bit of oil, and we'll get that in the oven. Sounds good. Pumpkin goes so well in curries too, doesn't it? It is really nice, mm. yeah. It does work well, and um, the other veggies we're going to put through that today are some courgette, red capsicum, and some nice snow peas. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to finish that with a bit of basil. I'm going to get started on the sauce now though, Megan. Um, I'm just going to get my pan started just with a little bit of canola oil. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's just uh, this chu chi is a um, Penang styled um, Thai curry. And today I've got some really made um, store bought Penang curry paste, which is pretty good. Um, if you did have the time and the ingredients, certainly go to town and um, do it from scratch. Okay. It would certainly taste a lot nicer. But so what's the difference between a Penang curry paste and something like, say, our you know favourites, like a red or a green or a muslin or something? Uh, different ingredients. Obviously, there's this um, more spice, obviously, with the uh, with the um, red curry being sort of the hotter. Um, different chilies. With the Penang, it's quite a. Um, there's a lot more sort of aroma type flavours coming oh, through. Oh, nice. Sounds good. Quite a fruity sort of curry. Oh, okay. So just with the paste, I'm going to get that started just over a bit of a heat, just to start to sort of get some of those nice flavours going there. And then to that we're simply just going to add um, some coconut milk mm -hmm. and a little bit of soy, lime juice and one of my favourite ingredients, palm sugar. Oh, that's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. Really easy to buy. It's probably in most supermarkets, certainly Asian stores. Mm. Quite hard as we can see. Mm. Um, they get that off the sap of uh, palm trees, coconut trees, and really nice to use in, in South Asian cuisine. You can grate it or just being careful with a knife, as you can see it's quite hard, just sort of break it down a wee bit, but once we add that to our, our sauce it will um, break down well quite quickly through it. Looks like it's just like a toffee or something like that. Obviously, it, that's very similar in um... toffee fudge, and it's funny enough, sort of got a little bit of that flavour too. Yeah. A lot of a lot of caramel type flavours in it. So I don't want to burn this paste. I'm just going to get a little bit of heat started. We can see it's just starting to smelling really good too. Just starting mm. to to break down there, and it's about at that point we can just start to slowly add our coconut milk. And this recipe just calls for a whole tin. So again with this dish, once we've got the pumpkin started, we can just get the sauce started because the rest of the dish is quite easy to put together um, just in a, in a wok or a good frying pan. That'll boil quite quickly now, so that's when I can add my soy, just a couple of tablespoons, mm -hmm. the palm sugar, and a couple of tablespoons of lime. So you could use lime juice or even better, fresh lime. Yum. It's such an essential part of Thai curries as well. Yeah. Isn't it? And that gives it that nice little bit of citrus flavour that we're after. Mmm. Smells amazing already. So with the palm sugar again, Kurt, we can buy this if we're making this at home. We can get it now from supermarkets. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've seen it at some supermarkets and um, yeah, like I said, good Asian stores also have that. With the veggies, just going to do um, just some nice small cuts. So I've got some courgette here and some red pepper. 
And then when we come back from the break, um, it's just simply putting the chicken and the veggies through the uh, through the wok, and we'll add the sauce and, and finish it off. Today I'm going to serve it with a little bit of rice. Sounds fantastic. So we'll let that pumpkin keep cooking away in the oven, and then we'll come back and uh, finish this beautiful uh, chuchi curry with Kurt from Mama. Stay with us. Thanks, Kurt.